So uh, when did this uh, when did this um, inspiration come? Like well, for this movement, when, were you always have you always been conscious of on your eating? No. So honestly, I used to be 230 pounds. Okay. And I started with like just cutting out, you know, sugars and meat, and I started yeah. seeing like I had more energy. My my mental clarity was like becoming more clear clear, and at this same time, I was living in Alaska. So I was like, you know, if I'm learning this up here and not a lot of people know this in California because we're, we're moving so fast yeah, out here. Yeah, it's crazy. Right? Yeah. You see the weather is hot. So like when things are warm, we're constantly moving. There you go. And so people don't stop to think about like, hey, what am I putting into my body? Like, how is this affecting me? Like, can I have a better state of mind? Like through food and so I took the time to learn about it and now I'm like well let's give this knowledge to the community I believe this is something really dope and real beautiful real amazing for our community here in Orange County in Fullerton California there's a Imani Gardens a community garden by Imani Darren Diggs and um I just placed my order last night for the Imani Garden Box. And, you know, I hit him up through DM, you know, first off. I love the movement, brother. And, you know, I love to be able to shine light on the movement, on the journey. Because, you know, I believe these are some powerful plots, and I love to shine light on these plots. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be getting my, my box delivered soon. And um, we're going to get some stuff sent on camera, some more insight on Imani Gardens, some insight on what I got in my own box. And... Um, so yeah, I love it, bro. I love I love this um this movement, and I think it's it's um it's a blessing to have it here in our community. So, Imani Gardens, we thank you, we love you, we appreciate your work, brother. And you know, let's keep shining, let's keep prospering. You know, these beautiful plots, these beautiful ideas we have into our communities. So I'm very excited to see what I got and show you guys what we got. So um yeah, we're gonna see you soon what we got. This the plot, bro. Plant the plot. Plant the plot and water that bitch, baby. Plant the plot and water that bitch. These are this the plot, bro. Far now, I'm just you know take a little seat right here. You know, just write down in my journal some things I'm grateful for. You know? Can never be too grateful. Can never be too grateful. No, what's up, man? Something, something about writing things I'm grateful for does something to me. It just does something to my energy, you know. Oh. So yeah. Oh, what? Oh. oh. If you awaken from this illusion. And you understand that black implies white, self implies other, life implies death, or shall I say, death implies life. You can feel yourself, not as a stranger in the world, not as something here on probation, not as something that has arrived here by fluke. But you can begin to feel your own existence as absolutely fundamental. I'm not trying to sell you on this idea in the sense of converting you to it. I want you to play with it. I want you to think of its possibilities. I'm not trying to prove it. I'm just putting it forward as a possibility of life to think about. So then, Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. Or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you see. And after several nights, 
of 75 years of total pleasure each, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. And uh, you, you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a, a close shave, wasn't it? Then you would get more and more adventures and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. I had a really great session with Kundalini Yoga right in my front yard. So my first time doing it in my front yard. Got to spread that energy, you know? Maybe one day, maybe one day, the neighbors will pop out and we all do it. We all have a little class in the front yard together, you know? Spread that energy. See right now, I feel like my vibrations are high, bro. I feel, I feel amazing. I love, I love my life. Alrighty. So I just got the text. Imani Garnes is on his way to deliver my box. I'm excited. See what we got. Let's get some more insight. Imani Gardens, here for the people, for the community. How's it going, brother? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Alrighty. It's, uh, you know, let's see what we got here. Some great stuff, huh? We got some greens. And then... Amazing. Uh, some mints. Tomatoes went flying. Oh, tomatoes went flying? Yeah. Okay. So we got some lemons. They're actually Beautiful. limas. Limas. Have okay. You had limas? I haven't. So they're the sweeter ones. Okay. Uh, that uh, the older heads in the Mexican community uh -huh. like they like to consume it. Okay, nice. Uh, they make tea out of it. Tea. They eat it raw, and okay. then <laughs> what's my grandma do with it? <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. All right, nice. Yeah. Yeah, brother. I definitely got got some. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be a, a chance for me too, also to create some some good meals with these stuff. Yeah. And some teas, right? And stuff like that. Yeah. I still got more stuff for you. All right. Oh, appreciate you. How's the deliver deliveries going this morning? Uh, they've been doing good. Good. It's been uh, it's real hot. Yeah, it is today. Uh, trying to knock these out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you need plant based? Um. So basically, my I've I've really um. My conscious eating has uh, has not been uh, so long, you know. I just I, I really started this not too long ago, but I just been uh, slowly yeah I've been slowly eating, you know. I've been conscious of what I've been eating lately. Yeah. So yeah, I'm. Uh, Smell this. All right. I saw you had some basil. Yeah. So that's African blue basil. African blue basil. I saw that. Nice. That's just strong. Mmm. See that, guys? It's potent. Uh, anti-inflammatory helps stress uh, antibacterial antimicrobial uh, if you have an infection like in your arm like you scraped it then you could just boil that or you can just get the plant chew it up and then just rub it right into that area oh perfect just like that just like that you guys see it's beautiful how we got so much medicine you know that is natural guys it's natural natural God gave it, or God placed it on this earth before he placed us here, so it's like, let's utilize this. Why do we got to remake, you know, medicine to say that, like, oh, it's beneficial because we made it. Nah, there you like, go. This was already made, already designed to be exact. No, it's out here, guys. So Definitely. We got lemongrass right here. Beautiful. We got a little herb bundle. Okay, So nice. there's rosemary, there's a little bit of sage. Sage, rosemary. Uh, there's thyme uh, and savory. Oh, So nice. for like chicken and stuff okay, like that. Okay, there you go. And then I still get it. So uh, when did this, uh, when did this um, inspiration come like for this movement? When, were you always, have you always been conscious of, on your eating? No, so honestly, I used to be 230 pounds. Okay. And I started with like just cutting out, you know, sugars and meat. And I started seeing like I had more energy. My, my mental clarity was like becoming more clear, clear. And at this same time, I was living in Alaska. So I was like, you know, if I'm learning this up here and 
not a lot of people know this in California because we're, we're moving so fast yeah, here. Yeah, it's crazy. Right? Yeah. You see the weather is hot, so like when things are warm, we're constantly moving. There you go. And so people don't stop to think about like, hey, what am I putting into my body? Like, how is this affecting me? Like, can I have a better state of mind? Like, through food? And so I took the time to learn about it, and now I'm like, well, let's give this knowledge to the community. So Beautiful. I'm starting with these uh, veggie food boxes that are all organic, no pesticides. Uh, I grow my food in a permaculture manner. So we use, you know, your trimmings, your food scraps, worms, and all these other insects to create an environment to grow high frequency, more flavorful food. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, there you and go. it really works. Like to i i can't even eat food from the grocery store anymore yeah because like to taste the flavor difference uh -huh. just in flavor alone like it's insane oh yeah like, and you'll find out here today there you go i'm excited most meal. definitely exactly um let me grab you some more tomatoes this oh, is a russian dude. purple a russian purple tomato yeah wow appreciate it's you a heirloom species okay heirloom species See guys, and also um, I learned something from my aunt a while ago. Um, to you ask your body, even ask your body if this is good for my body, and just see where your body takes you. She told me if you go forward, it means yes. If you go back, it means no. Have you heard of that? Um, I saw the uh, Darren Diggs, correct? Imani Darren Diggs. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Um, what do you, do you prefer? Like, how do you go by Imani? Yeah, I go by Imani. Imani. Alrighty. Um, as of recent. All right. Nice. So we got more oh. heirloom tomatoes. Nice. That's a mix. Thank you so much. Brought some nopales. Oh, nopales. There you go. Nopales are some great. Fresh so. nopales. Yes, I've definitely had that. Um, I come from a Mexican uh, background too, but you know, we, we also, not everyone is informed, no matter like if we come from uh, our cultures, you know, we're not always even knowing about our own culture sometimes, you know? So. That's why it's up to us, really. In all that's honesty. Me. Yeah. That's my little sister. My little sister right there. So my class. <laughs> all righty, go. All right, I'll go. I'll go to your class right now. I'll go. I'll go what do. Are you doing? <laughs> Getting some fresh food. There you go. It's almost lunch time for you, so we'll go ahead and then whip up something. <laughs> there you go. That's my little sister. That's real. But now you're absolutely right. Like. We, we come from all these backgrounds. Amazing. These are some little like green beans. Green beans, huh? Yeah. You can eat uh, eat that one fresh. It's cool. Cucumber? Yeah. It's like this, right? Straight up like that. What's your thought? Mm. It's definitely not like the same green beans I've had before. And it is, um, damn, it, it's like so edible. Like, This is like a cucumber. I taste that. It's, it's very refreshing. Yeah, it's it, refreshing. Yeah, it is. And it's really yeah. crazy to think about because like that's the summer food. So in the summer, you know, it's, it's a lot of drought, not a lot of water. But if you stumble upon some bean bushes, like we have those planted in the community. So crazy. we, it's accessible for like kids in the community, the elderly who are walking on the because we planted in an alleyway. Okay. So if they're walking, you know, it's a hot day, they see yeah. some food, they can easily snatch it and feel refreshed, revived. Um, and that was really the, the whole goal, because uh, hopefully you can join us this Sunday. This Sunday. Uh, at the community garden off of uh, Treslow in Fullerton. Okay. Um, we've taken, we're at like two blocks now. Okay, that's that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing right there. There's the olives, there's a uh, pitaya, there's mm. oregano, there's a bunch of peppers. Nice. Um, but we've been putting this all out on the you know curbside, so that just like our that, community, yeah, just like this, so that our community can enjoy our environment around us. Yeah. So not only just you know living next to your neighbor not really knowing your neighbor exactly a lot of communities you live next to your neighbor and you don't know them no seriously you know i like yeah hey guys i can even say that you know 
you know, at the end, like we know, we know our neighbors, you know, but do you know, know them, you know? And I, I can say that I, 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 I want to continue to know my neighbors, you know? And uh, I don't fully know everybody, but it's a beautiful thing that we can't communicate because when you do communicate, you see how, how much the life we have in common with each other. And uh, so the community garden, I saw that you said it was over expanding then, huh? You say like something that you, were you even expecting that? Really? Honestly, I was. Like, you know, right? I, it's, I was, it's the goal, right? For me, it was like, I start this, there has to be more people that enjoy plants. There we go. Or either just planting or eating plants. Exactly. I mean, food is the root of everything. Yes. Right? It's the root of consciousness. It's the root of disease. Yes. It's the root of um, plagues. Like, yeah. You know? So because it's it's the root like i was like all right i'm gonna start in this little section you know if someone says anything so be it i'm helping the community and as soon as we started on like these two uh, lots there we go it took four sundays of people just driving by us just watching what we're doing stopping by and being like hey what are you guys doing and us telling them and now we have like about 20 people in the community Beautiful. that actively come out on Sundays and we communicate, we Beautiful. talk about, you know, what they're doing in their lives, whether it's business, um, some diseases that they're struggling with, whether it's like feeling low energy, constant cramping, um, arthritis. And we talk about how these different plants that are planted in the community relate to one another relate to the people and their problems and how to utilize them and so it's really rebuilding a relationship between people plants and your environment beautiful yeah, yeah it's beautiful to see like we are really are interconnected you know everything so um i think that's something beautiful you know yeah. and uh yeah, it's just it, I'm I'm definitely down to go out on Sundays. It's every Sunday you said? Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Beautiful. Yeah. And it's the um or I could get the address maybe later on, like through DM or something. I don't know. It's just where did you say? Yeah, it's it's in uh Fullerton off Treslow. Okay. And so that would be Lemon and Treslow. Okay. Lemon, lemon and Treslow, okay. I I I I know where that's at. Yeah, there's that AMC. There's okay. That park. Oh yes, there you go. The AMC the park. Yeah. Okay. Um Everyone's more than welcome to come out or show Beautiful. their support. Um, if you would like a community garden, like say right in front of your house, yeah, um, we can definitely set something up to where we, you know, Beautiful. transform this. Yeah, that'll be that's something amazing. And like, um, you you do of course have to be asked. Do you have to, you know, like we have to ask permission for these things or like, like the city and stuff or like do you think or like we it's just it just can just be done. That's a that's actually. A very good question. I think it could just be done. There you go. Because from who I've talked to, um, they basically say if you own this house, you own up to this line. Okay. So, you, do you guys pay for this grass to get cut? Um, I, uh, I don't. I think I. I think he does. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah. So, it's, it's your land. There we go. And beautiful. If it. Because how when we started, we ran into that problem. Okay. I didn't ask the city. Yeah. I was more like, hey, this is my community. Like, my environment, I should be able to manage my own environment. Yep. Because the city's not doing its job. The yeah. city, they send workers out to clean our, our neighborhood probably once a month. And that's no disrespect to them, you know. Uh, their budget is uh, decreasing. So, huh. it's like... This is the perfect opportunity for us to take it upon ourselves to be in control of what we have in our environment. Because we can plant, you know, oranges and mango trees and all types of fruit trees within uh, our community. Exactly. Why, why do we go to the grocery store? You know? So Isn't... it's really about just taking back our own power. Yeah. There you go. That's what it is. That's what, that's, that's what it's got. about. Yeah. That's all we got. We all we got, man. It's that's all we got, guys. It's it's a, of course it's possible, right? You know? Very possible. It's very possible, guys. It's 100% possible. As you guys see in this meeting of 
Eduardo? Yes, sir. And well, you me, call me Eddie. Eddie? Yes, sir. As Eddie and me, it's this is how it gets started. You know, you make that connection. You reach out, you support a local business. You guys come together and come with the plan of like wanting to change your immediate environment, wanting to change your immediate friends, your immediate family. And then that will, you know, build and build and build and fruition into something bigger. And now look, we're living in a happier, healthier society. So it's about guys and yeah, you know, agree with everything you said right there, you know, perfect to perfect words right there. It's um, you know, we all we got too, you know, the people, you know, and we put up I saw um so I saw a video recently of uh Russell Brand, you know Russell Brand? Russell Brand and yeah. um he was quite he was uh questioning um like have you ever thought about being into politics? And he said, um, well I think for um in the case we are in politics, you know, in politics in our own communities, you know, to take control in our own communities, you know, we, like, like everything I said, you know, like we, we, we just bring back our own power. And so, yeah. yeah, this was my first, uh, my first uh, meeting, my first ever time meeting uh, in Monte Gardens, and I think this is a, uh, I'm definitely the first of many purchases, you know, because this is what we are, you know, support each other. And uh, I love the movement. It's a powerful plot you got going on, brother. Appreciate it. Powerful appreciate plots it. for the community. Thank we you. appreciate you. We love you. We thank, thank you. you. Thank All right. You. Of course. Love. Much love. Amazing things. And I'm going a, I'm to a document more when I get these. Uh,